course, we're all used to seeing caravan parks filled with families and retirees looking to kick back and relax. But this is no ordinary campsite. The residents here are at war with the park's manager, who they say rules the place with an iron fist. Ah, the camping life. Usually so scenic, so serene. Hey, see ya. I feel like I'm living in a dog kennel. But in this little park of horrors, residents aren't pitching tents, they're carrying pitchforks. What would you want to do to him? Ring his neck. Their sights are set on one man, they call the Commandant of the Caravan Park. Oh, no, I, have I, I have work to do. I have work to do. I have later. I just want to ask some questions about later. this Caravan Park, OK? Hey, look, the, oh, no need to lock us in with you. Basically like living like an animal. Um, it's like living in a prison cell. Definitely, like, with all the boards and stuff around the place. Home is not so sweet for Matt Drew, who pays $100 a week to live like this. Yeah, there's no water connected. I've got no stove, no gas, no nothing. My power cord runs from his shed. But he says the worst part about living in Mowie Gardens in Victoria's East is Paul, the man who runs the joint. His attitude, the way he talks to you, he tells, tries to tell people what they can and can't do, who they can and can't have at their place. Cheeky. Derek and Brian admit yeah. things have turned violent. One, like, I have actually hit him in the caravan before, <laughs> but held him in the forehead. He goes, oh, camera's there. I'm going, no, it's not, I'm not stupid. I know where the cameras are exactly. And so there's no witnesses, so you probably got your word against mine, Paul. These residents claim they're being treated like trailer trash and charged for the pleasure. How much does it cost to use the washing machine? $4 per wash. To use the dryer? Dollar, dollar per seven, seven and a half minutes. How about having a shower if you're not a resident? $5. Come here. Come on. $80 to $100 a week on washing. And that's just the beginning of Lisa's gripes with Paul. The kids aren't too fond of him either. What do you guys think of living here? Um, scary, sort of. The um, stuff that's happened. I'm safe. After a recent dispute with him, this family of eight received a notice to vacate, leaving them down and out with nowhere to go. I've been trying to put in for houses and no one does it. Um, a worker told me that like, I've got a good record for f houses and stuff, but no one wants to rent with people with six kids. Hi, Paul. Hi. <laughs> I just want to ask you a quick question. Hi. Mark. <laughs> Why are you running away? <laughs> um, Paul. My name's Chinika, I'm from A Carrot Affair, um, and we've heard that you rule this caravan park with an iron fist. Is that right? Possibly. Possibly. What have you been doing here? Make an appointment. There's a lot of residents, there's a caravan uprising here. Yes, there is. People are very unhappy with how they've been treated. A family of eight has been kicked out. <laughs> Why are you kicking Lisa out? Uh, doesn't pay rent. No need to touch me. <laughs> In no mood to discuss the residents' claims, we too were kicked to the curb. Make an appointment. Make an appointment. Wow. I can't believe that reaction. He's not even willing to talk. No, of course not. So what would you rate it as a caravan park? Zero. One. <laughs> In a statement, Paul told us Matt made the choice to live in an abandoned van from out the back, which he thought wasn't suitable to live in. He claims Lisa's kids aren't scared of him and that he tried to help her by offering her a cleaning job. As for Brian, he says he offered to give him accommodation to repair a van in lieu of rent. These Aussies know taking a stand will most likely see them evicted, but that might be a good thing for everyone. It's worth it to see him squirm, mate. Yes, and Paul also claims the laundry and dryer charges that he inflicts on people are not excessive.